No one who really loves you is going to want to stop your destiny. They're not going to want to stop your blessings. They're not going to want to stop your progress. They're not going to want to halt you. Some of them want to slow you down. They don't intend to slow you down, but they want to spend a whole lot of time with you. And they want you to spend time with them instead of spending time doing what you're, you know, trying to accomplish doing. And... When you care about somebody, it's a time trade-off, and that time trade-off is okay as long as the emotion there is happy. As long as you know you're still giving energy to whatever your goal is. Now, if you, it only just depends on what you want. If you want to achieve the goal most, then you need to be giving more energy and attention to the goal, and the person that you're dealing with needs to be able to understand that. If you want the relationship thing most, then you're gonna have to give energy to that, and you know, stop giving so much attention to this thing and give some more attention to the person nourish that relationship with them you know and do things and spend time and you know plan stuff you have to give water you got to nourish it you know what i mean if you want it to grow and so it's the same thing with your goals you have to keep nourishing it. it doesn't matter if somebody else comes along and they want to talk to you you know and take you somewhere while you're supposed to be watering your plant if you wish for your plant to keep thriving and growing because all right that happens one time you miss one watering cycle all right it suffers a little bit but it doesn't die you do that again twice now it's, it's missed two watering cycles the dirt's all crusted up it's starting to have a little bit of effect and you know you miss three now it's withering a little bit. It's just gonna break down more and more and more from there. That's just what happens when you, it's just the same thing as adding the poison. Boop, in the well. So you don't have to allow the poison to be added to your well though. It's, it's, it's not like you owe somebody your fucking life. It's important to care about the people that are adding good things to your world because there are enough people that are adding the opposite of that. But that doesn't mean that you owe them your life. You know, you don't. You do not, you do not, you do not. You owe them to be honest, you know, and truthful with whatever it is that you think. I mean, you don't got to tell them all your thoughts or whatever, but with whatever it is that you feel about something, anything that concerns them, you should be always honest with them because then there's no poison in the well. And if ever there is poison in the well and you're always honest, then at least you can say you were the one who never poisoned the well. You can step out of the water totally unashamed, of what's left behind and you can move forward proud the integrity matters so much and that's why i say you don't have to end something on a bad note with somebody just because things are ending with you you never know if you'll need that person again in life and this person is someone who's demonstrated some loyalty to you before they'll probably do it again you know and and you never know when you would when you might need that especially if you're someone who's trying to grow in this world you know it's important to forgive it's important to forgive because it's important for you to be able to move past that can only happen after forgiveness happens the rest of it's just a fake it's a front it's you putting a band-aid over whatever it is that you're feeling for real and there's no growth in that there is no getting over the pain of your past with that kind of mentality you have to be willing to forgive because if not you give them permission to take over the rest of your life is that what you want that's not what I want for you. You can't let anybody affect your whole world based on their actions. You just can't. You know what I mean? If you did that, you would always be in a state of down, low energy, something that's sad, something that's remorseful, regretful, reminiscent of all this shit, you know what I mean? That's making you now feel even more bad. Fuck all that, man. No. You keep on living your life honorably and honestly and let the most high take the wheel on the rest of it. Don't let people interrupt that much of your life wherein you can't operate and be happy the same way without them. That's a recipe for disaster for the both of you. You should not be that reliant on someone else. You can't be self-reliant on someone else. You gotta be willing to stand on, you gotta be able to stand on your own two feet. Bring everything that you can to the table, you know? Bring goodness to them. Tell them that they're great at stuff. You know, encourage them in their goals. When they need to do something and can't spend a bunch of time, you know, going to the movies with you, 
Don't ride their ass about it and make them feel bad about it. Tell them how proud you are that they're putting time into something that they're trying to achieve. Tell them how much you want the success that they want for them for them too. That you reach your goal, there's success, there's happiness because of it. Then you set the, you set the other goals, the next goals, and you can set them together with the person. How joyous is life then? If you move forward in your life, asking for, for one, and then believing, for two, that you are already in receivance of whatever it is that you're wishing or hoping for, then you got that already. It's already yours. I am happy already. So I'm not looking for somebody else to make me happy. And if that person's not making me happy, now I'm sad. That's not how my life runs. I don't look for somebody, somebody else to bring me the happy. I look to bring my happy to somebody else and have them add to my happy. I want to share my happy with others. And they're supposed to have the same happy vibration sharing their happiness with you, but not relying on you for their happiness. And you're not supposed to be relying on them for your happiness because that means you both are in a lack of something. It's okay to be in a lack of something. It's just not okay to stay there willingly, unless that's what makes you happy? In which case, do that shit. Have your fun, live your life. Don't let me tell you how to be happy, yo. But if that's not gonna make you happy, then it's time to boss up and do something different, yo. It's time to stop allowing other people to affect your whole fucking life. This is your life. You gotta be willing to say, fuck the bullshit to get past all of the stuff that's happening around you all of the chaotic anything and take a step back and see if this is fruitful and if it's not that's something that can be solved with a conversation it doesn't have to end bloody you don't have to just get the screaming and yelling and y'all got to go out with a bang and all of that man that's called burning bridges you're not supposed to do that you don't have to not ever see this person again or like not ever speak to this person again or turn your head if you see them somewhere in public you can do that if you choose to that's what most people do but i don't think it should be that i don't think you should have to leave things with an animosity note even if you gotta leave things things should always be open and and cool you know why would you want to beef with anybody if the person's been good to you I don't want to beef with anybody and especially if the person's been good to me I just want to be good to them like it doesn't matter in what capacity that is for me I think it's important to understand that you can have something healthy still be growing in the world and be adding to somebody else's growth in the world too and if that's not the case if you both aren't happy it's okay to mutually agree to go on your own ways so that you both can be happy because it's not happening with the two of you that just means that's okay it doesn't mean either of you are bad people it just means your energies are not connecting it's not you know interacting well it's friction it's a chaotic energy that's not what you're supposed to have in your home or in your heart. You're supposed to have peace, you're supposed to have compassion, you're supposed to have love. And you know, you can have that by yourself. So if you're introducing somebody else to the picture, they're supposed to be adding to only that or they're adding to something else. It's that simple, it's that simple. No need to overthink it. Toss it up, throw it in. You gotta let this, your spirit guide you. That's what I'll tell you. Your spirit, your heart, whatever you wanna call it, you feel it when you feel it, you know. You feel something, you know? You gotta listen to that thing. You gotta let that be your guiding light. Cause it is, it's your guiding light. Spread love, y'all. Give love, but most importantly, give love to yourself. You gotta give love to yourself first. Then you can share it. When you have it, is when you can share it. When you have it, is when you can share. You give that your all, and then hope that, you know, everything else falls into place well, you know, behind it. But that's the most important thing because you cannot be a help to anybody until you've helped yourself. You can't charge anybody's battery if your battery ain't fully charged. Give yourself a fair shake at life by just continuing to love yourself and continuing to be happy. Nobody owes you happiness. Nobody owes you their life, their time, any of that. It's up to you to be happy on your own and you can be. Just focus on your growth take care of yourself mentally and by not introducing things that are poisonous for you things that are going to hurt you take care of your body exercise feed yourself well and sleep 
You need sleep. Sleep is the time for your body to rejuvenate, to heal itself, to give you more energy, more life. You don't got to be no fitness head, you know. Just take a walk, take a jog, do some squats, do some push-ups. Try, you know, try whatever. Go swimming, pick up a boxing class, play some soccer, play some basketball. Do something and do it constantly, consistently to keep up you, you know, your health, your feel good chemicals. Feel good chemicals reproduce more when you are healthy, when you're eating well, when you're exercising, and when you're getting good sleep. You do those three things, you will become a better person. I virtually guarantee it. Anyway. You got to stay focused on your path and you can't allow other people to disrupt that piece. So I suggest having a conversation that is solely based on just being 100% real with each other. I'm going to let y'all know I'm like 100% raw with anybody that I deal with. Ask anybody. Once you've given somebody honesty first of all and the honor of being about whatever it is you say you're about the honor of doing what you say you're gonna do and not doing what you say you're not gonna do those things are the pillars those things are the foundation for whatever it is that you're trying to build upon those are the bricks those are the bones there's a song called bones and it talks about if the bones are good the rest doesn't matter you know talking about the bones of the house. You build on a solid foundation and the rest of the shit doesn't matter. Bones are good, the rest don't matter. The paint can peel, the glass can shatter, let it rain. Because it doesn't matter what the fuck happens to the exterior as long as the roots are fucking solid. It can always be built back up. Everything else can always be repaired. That's with that conversation stuff that I was just talking about. <laughs> you can heal stuff. Y'all can get it out. Y'all can work through things. As long as you just stay respectful of each other. 